Hey guys, Joe here, and here you are in a new video, now this is going to be showing a little bit of how I like to play Super Smash Bros. 4, exactly some tips of how to play the game, and pretty much uh, little techniques for beginners, maybe intermediate players, and I'd recommend you watch through the entire video, especially if you're new, and even if you're into the game, it's kind of cool to see how different people actually play the game, and to just see people's hands, you know, actually playing the game. But without further ado, let's get this going. So I'll also be talking about how to use all these different types of moves, and this is not scripted, so I will want to make it a little bit faster. So, first off, I'm going to be talking about Short Hop, as you can see. This is a really easy one, but a lot of people just don't know exactly what it is. So, what you do is you press this button once, and as you can see, either of these, just tap it, tap, 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 and as you can see, I jump very slow, uh, very shortly. Something that you can do with this, though, is you can Short Hop, and then press A, and there we go, our Short Hop there. And that's pretty much all the Short Hopping is. Just in case you've always wondered what short hops are. The short hops are very, very, very useful. Just to tap it. And I'll show you a little bit more why later. And next, also some, uh, the thing I'll talk about is the fast fall. So as you can see, you hold the button, press down. And if you look right next to Lucas's head, it'll actually show you a little, like, not really dot, but it's kind of a little flash of light. And that will be showing that you are, in fact, fast falling. And something that you can also do is short hop and then fast fall. This is what a lot of people do. What they do is like short hop, uh, short hop for fast fall, short hop for fast fall. So it's like this. And you can see the little light to make sure you did it right. Or you can wait a little bit longer and like do it right at the end. You can do either. As you can see, it does pretty well. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is um, pretty much the short hop zares, which are only for some of the characters. A lot of people don't know how to use these, so I just wanted to go over this. So pretty much all you have to do is, of course, short hop. Uh, make sure not, well, when you're running around, make sure not to hold the button and try to zare. Sometimes I accidentally try to do that. It makes it really hard to try to zare. So make sure to short hop. So you short hop and then press the button. And pretty much if you do short hop zares, you'll hit them most of the time. And the usage is of all these moves, I'll just get into that right now. So first off, the usage of short hop is that you can short hop nair, short hop fair, short hop back air. And pretty much with full hops, you'd have to wait all the way until you get back here to hit the opponent at like ground level because if you choose to try to miss so short hops just let you quickly hit them which is just easy enough fast falls let you uh, kind of like auto cancel moves not all moves will auto cancel but it'll auto cancel moves meaning that there won't be any lag or it'll make some moves just end a little bit faster as you can see you won't have quite as much lag and also it just lets you combo into other moves a lot quicker because you'll be able to uh, pretty much hit most of your hits and then get it into the ground with a fast fall and yeah, that's pretty much just all fast falls are used for. And then of course, together, you can just short hop, combo into the ground, go into other attacks, as you can see. Uh, and then let's see, short hop zares, the usage of the short hop zare, or just pretty much any zare. So, uh, by the way, if you can't see, I'm pressing this button to zare. It's my grab button. So you short hop zare, and then you can grab. And then you can like, do your combos. You know, whatever. whatever. Also, a thing that you can do with short hop uh, neutral air, or just full hop neutral air and different type of hop neutral air so that you can sometimes combo multiple like nairs into a row it's kinda hard but you can combo multiple nairs into a row kinda like this and then follow up with a fair or a dare or pretty much any of these different moves so yeah that's pretty much the easy basic how to do it I just want to show you just on a like, control stick so you can exactly see how you do it now the next thing I'm going to talk about is perfect, pivot perfect pivoting which is pretty much this it's really hard to do I'm not the perfect master at showing this because my hands aren't quite fast enough but as you can see whenever that little smoke comes up it's really 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 hard to do fast but as you can see whenever that smoke comes up pretty much when I do this that's a perfect pivot and I have to do perfect pivot you can uh, pretty much do whatever you want you can grab you can do whatever so exactly that's a perfect pivot you just quickly go from like right quickly left left quickly right and then you press your input so pretty much there's perfect pivot smash where you go, you hold left, quickly press right, and then press the smash attack pretty much. So, this, do the both waves. This is how I like to do it. I kind of like to uh, let go of one of them. You don't really have to. This is just kind of how I do it. And maybe you can look off my technique to see how you like to do it. Because this does take a while to learn how to do. I know, I still mess up quite often with it. But that's pretty much how you do that. The next one is tilts, which is pretty much F tilt. So all you have to do is perfect pivot by running one way in the other direction pressing I pretty much hold the button as long as I want to with this because if you hold the button it'll make it pretty much always do F tilt sometimes if you tap it it can think that you're trying to do a smash attack like 
It's not happening right now. But sometimes you can't think you're trying to do a smash attack, so I usually do like to hold the button, like right then. And then, perfect uh, pivot grabs. Just like everything else, you just grab like this. A thing about the perfect pivot grab, though, is that if you perfect pivot grab, it'll actually give you more grab range. So, this is really, really useful because pretty much it just lets you hit your grab from further away. Sometimes it doesn't give you as much as you want, but for certain characters, it'll give you a little bit more grab range like Rosalina. Most melee characters get a lot more grab range. It looks a little bit weird, and... Oh, okay, they come myself. No, never mind. It looks a little bit weird, but that's pretty much how the different types of grab ranges work. Uh, sometimes that can happen, and also sometimes you can... I don't remember how to do this. Uh, you can do a little roll grab, but I don't remember exactly how to do that. Um, and next... I'm just going to be talk. these are pretty much the most basic things, pretty much perfect pivoting, show hopping, and all these different types of things, of course, side B. Next thing that I want to show is that you can, um, of course, go forward and then kind of move yourself backwards, I want to show this, so you can attack forward, let's try to show this, so, forwarder, and then you hold backwards, this is how you do retreating, or what you can do is you can, uh, jump, so you can jump and immediately go back, this is why a lot of people set this to attack, by the way. So you can jump and immediately attack backwards, so it can give you retreating, um, give you retreating forward airs. That's how you do that. So you just short hop back air, I mean forward air like that. So really you can't do that as well with this. As you see I have to put in a lot more inputs, and it doesn't work quite as well. I have to like do this. So definitely if you want to get some, uh, like retreating fares or retreating anything, you will want to do that. You can to them a lot easier like this. But now that I've talked about this, I'm going to be switching over into showing you some Ryu stuff, and then quickly going over that. Sorry this has taken a little bit longer than I wanted to, but hopefully you are learning some stuff. So let's show you some Ryu stuff. If you have already seen Ryu, and you already know how to tech, the next stuff won't be very useful. This is a pretty much beginner guide, but let me get right into that right now. Okay, so we are back, and this is of course, uh, my hand's still here, and we are playing as Ryu. This is pretty much a very quick way that I just want to show you how to use the Fire Hadouken, the Hadouken, and all that type of stuff. So pretty much how you use the Fire Hadouken, I don't remember the exact name, but you start by holding, the, so let's say I'm going right, uh, gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here, this is some teching, if you can see. Okay, let's say I'm going uh, right, so pretty much what I want to do is press the opposite way, and then forward, so pretty much if I'm going left, I'll hold right quickly, and then go around. Right quickly and go around. Right quickly and go around. As you can see, it just kind of like flips like this. I'll do it slowly, so it's like quickly like this. Look at the bottom screen if you want to see this. Like down, like this. And that'll essentially always give you the fire Hadouken. If you want this the stronger Hadouken, you just do this from the middle to there. And that's pretty much it. And now, if you want the Shuryuken, uh, what you have to do, and of course you can do that the opposite way also, you can still do the fire Hadouken like this, like that. Um, if you want the side B actually first, all you have to do is hold, let's say I'm facing left, I go right quickly, I was pretty much just exactly opposite, opposite, I'll quickly show you right here, I go right all the way like this, and that's how you do this, so, say I'm uh, facing this way, nope, 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 say I'm facing this way, quickly do that, quickly do, quickly do freaking that, there we go, it's a little bit weird to get used to, but, of course, there you go. And, of course, you quickly do that. So, pretty much, you just do the exact opposite, uh, whatever way you're facing. So, you press forward to back. It's a little bit weird to get used to, but it's really not way too hard. Now, the final thing that's really hard to get used to is walking down. It's like the Shoryuken, so you have to, like, walk down this way. It's very weird. As you can see, you don't press up at all. What you have to do is, like, walk forward, down, that corner. It's a lot easier on a GameCube controller because on a GameCube controller you will actually go. Uh, there will be little notches on this controller. There are no notches, so pretty much it's forward, down, down, forward. So let's say forward, down, down, forward, and you'll do the Shoryuken. Now you can of course hold it and you'll go further. So like this, you'll go less far, and if you do it more, you'll hold. Uh, you'll just go a bit further. And then the final thing that I would want to talk about. It's a little bit hard to get used to, but it's forward, down, that. Uh, the final thing I want to talk about is teching. I know this video is quite a bit longer than I hoped it would be. But with teching, all you have to do is just take some damage, or not even. All you have to do, as you can see, is just press the R button whenever I hit pretty much lava, or whenever you hit the ground, or you hit the wall. You just have to, pretty much all I do is just spam the R button. This doesn't work on multi-hit techs, but all I do, as you can see, just spamming the R button really, really fast, and 
attacking stops working a little bit as you can see i tech through that it stops working at really high percents it never really stops but it becomes very very frame uh perfect so as you can see right there it was really hard to tech but pretty much teching all you have to do is just spam the r button that's what i'd do if i was a noob for you and if you're getting a little bit better you just want to time it press r exactly when you are ready to tech and that'll pretty much be it for you guys i hope that you did enjoy this video i know it was a little bit rambly and a little bit long but i hope it helped you a tiny bit and if you did make sure to leave a like and comment uh, this is just a little how-to, and if you did not enjoy the video at all, and if you don't want me to do any more videos like this, make sure to tell me in the comment section below, and I won't. I don't really know how this video will be received, so let's just see what you guys want. Thank you guys for watching, though, and I'll see you all next time.